Oh, good day, and welcome to Dry Save Australia. Now, check this out. This is a set where you're not supposed to turn. You're not supposed to be able to turn right. It's straight ahead. There's no right and turn, you idiot. In the wet weather, with cars coming the other way. Well done. More wet weather. Great Brisbane weather we've had lately. And uh, orange, red. Plenty of time to stop. Just straight for the red light. Even the customer I had in the car said, "Oh, look at that red light." And I said, "Yep, typical Queensland driver. Just can't wait." Have to go through the red light in the wet weather. Yeah, go for it. Now, lane up ahead, this car's parked, so moving into the right lane, right hand indicator on. Yep, you can quite clearly see that there's parked cars in that left hand lane moving over. No, that, look at this, you. Yeah, he's coming over. Yes, had the two. Hey, buddy, I'm here. Yep, stay in your lane. <laughs> so, next, uh, check out the car up ahead, the van, should I say. And then it moves into the right hand turning lane, cuts across there. And through the red light. Just slow down, people. It's wet conditions. Slow down. <sighs> and here we are. Red car doesn't know how to use his indicator. I thought, yeah. I saw it before. He did use the indicator beforehand. So it didn't work. And then here again, turning left. Doesn't use left. He goes that left hand indicator. And still doesn't use his left hand indicator. To turn left. Must be one of those people who couldn't pay 50 cents for the indicator when they bought their new car. Now check out, you have to look very carefully, look at that four drive next ahead of me, and you'll see that he can't be patient, I've seen this so many times nowadays, people just can't be patient, and they cut across, and yeah, well done mate, just to say five seconds of your life, slow down, now check this one out, here, here we go, coming up to a set of lights, and cars coming the other way, now this might take a little bit of time, because I just left this bit unedited but what we're gonna see soon is something doesn't happen too often but I've always actually think it's gonna happen because people don't tend to look at the lights they look at what other cars around them do now the right and arrow turns green yep green to go right and uh, mate not go straight ahead the other cars come the other way actually had to stop from he went through the red light because he thought this went because of the right hand green arrow <coughs> and then up here look up there on the right hand lane there's a guy reversing up the road now if you missed your in this case he was picking up this girl there uh, well if you miss your turn turn around come back don't reverse up the main road now here we are turning the cars have stopped there we had the toot him and say yeah you can't just park and double park like that which is what he was doing he was there for actually quite a while before i even show you that on the video now here we go again um where well, we look at this comment he wants in the right hey one to go left uh, yeah, it's a bit late, you know. Um, again, people just are not using their brains, are they? When they're turning, they just cut across. They don't care. This truck's moved into the right hand lane. I don't know why. He's not going any faster than the people to in the middle lane. Then he's realised, oh, maybe I shouldn't have um, moved in the right hand lane because I'm blocking the car. They had to slow down for me. Okay. Oh well. Um. Yeah, okay. I'll move back over to the left hand lane. Thanks, buddy, but maybe next time just stay in your lane. There was absolutely no need for you to move into the right-hand lane. So here we are to watch the truck. Oh, there's someone got the crossing. Just stops in time. He just wasn't really... Again, wet conditions. People aren't slowing down from... It's actually 40k, I believe, down Rose Course Drive. And he was just coming. Now, this is the oddest thing that ever happened to me for quite a while. Now, look very carefully at that, that Honda Civic. You look very carefully in the driver's door, and you actually see she's on her phone. She's actually playing Pokemon. I could see it from my screen. She's playing Pokemon. And she's driving into the intersection. Still going. I think she just about... She's put the phone away now. And I'm thinking, okay, what's she doing? She's still creeping forwards. It's a red light, lady. Yes, it's a female driver. Still, It's still red light. You know, um... Yeah, what are you doing? I hand out the window. There you go. That's another, another offence. You're not supposed to have any part of your body outside the window. But she's just creeped through the red light. Um, actually, when I looked at her, she actually looked like she was on drugs. I saw her when I drove past a little bit before, before. Next, after this, she looked like she was on drugs. That's not the end of it. No, no. Wait, there's a little bit more. Here we are. The lights are going red. I've stopped on the line. Just wait for it, because she's coming up beside me. There she goes, half into the intersection again. Then as you realise, oh, wait a second, I better have been reversed back a bit. I've gone too far into the intersection. 
and then well, she moves forward again into the incident. Lights are still red, lights are still red, lights are still red. Don't mean I was waiting for her to go through this red light, but she did actually stop. I'll give her credit there, but she sh just yeah, okay. and she was by the way using her phone again. Catch you guys later.